Let's take a look at this Sherwin-Williams paint color called Jubilee. I'm gonna give you all the details you need to know about it, and more importantly, some free color pairings from James, the color guy. Let's get into it. On Color Quickie, I'm only gonna give you the information that is really gonna be useful for you with your next paint project. And we had a request for me to look at Jubilee, so that's what I'm gonna do. Interestingly enough, Jubilee is kind of part of that blue family of paint colors, which is no surprise that one of you recommended it because blue seems to be coming back in style. We had green, we had red, now we're into blue territory. Blue isn't the only color you need to be considering. It's just something that you can maybe sprinkle in if you want to kind of keep up with the trends. But what I like about Jubilee is it's not a true blue or a baby blue. It has has this slate gray blue quality to it where it does feel a bit toned down, a bit shaded. It's also fairly deep. It has an LRV of 45, which means it's reflecting just under half of the light that hits it. There's quite a good amount of body to this color, so it's not going to feel too much like a pastel, which means it will be noticed when you use it in spaces, but it's not saturated enough to feel like it's gonna pull focus too much. So it has this great little sense of balance. In terms of the type of blue that it is, it's fairly neutral, I would say. It's not so much into purple territory. It just feels like a faded denim blue maybe a touch of like an icy lavender undertone. Very, very subtle though. Interestingly enough, especially with where the color of the year for 2024 is portraying itself to be, this is a color choice that you don't need to limit to accent use only. It's one that you can explore other use cases for it. You don't have to just stick this in a bedroom or just have it in a bathroom. Try and play around with maybe some of the living areas in your home, like your family rooms, a dining room, an office for sure. A little dark for me for the hallways and the foyers of a home, but I mean, that's your prerogative if you wanna use it. Now, assuming you love this color on your walls, what trim colors should you use with it? The first one is Ceiling Bright White. This is a clean, crisp, cooler leaning white. It's not as stark and bright and warm as other colors in the Sherwin-Williams catalog. It has just a touch of that cool gray quality to it to soften it, which coordinates perfectly with Jubilee and also complements some of the color pairings we're gonna talk about in a second. But not everyone wants light trim and doors and frames. Maybe you want a darker trim color choice for your woodwork and whatnot and I think you can't go wrong with peppercorn one of the quintessential off black paint colors by Sherwin Williams it has quite a bit of depth to it but a lot of people call it the darkest gray not quite a black paint so it has that flexibility of feeling dark and rich and dramatic but not also like a deadpan just jet black that just absorbs all light possible. All right, so let's start building this color palette by adding some wall color pairings that you can use in other rooms in your home or even in the form of your accessories and your furniture and throw pillows and throw blankets, any throws. First one is called Schwelt Sage. And um, Sherwin-Williams calls this a nature-inspired green. And I feel like although it has a very strong green undertone, it's more of a dark, gray, green age. Like it has a little bit of that warm green, but there's also this grayed out quality to it. So it does feel maybe a tad muddy, which doesn't sound very appealing, but I think that's the nature inspired part. It's grounded, it's earthy, it's not too fabricated and fake looking, and it does share that toned down effect that Jubilee has, but instead of blue, it's in the form of this sort of muted green color. It's also within the same LRV range. It's in the low 40s rather than the mid 40s, but in the 40s nonetheless. Next up, we have a very dark color, which is called Outer Space. So this essentially is just a really dark blue just a deepening of Jubilee and it's just about as dark as peppercorn but instead of being that off black this one is sort of a shaded navy mysterious looking blue and what's great about it is it can also double as a dark trim color if you wanted to go blue on blue for something a little more monochromatic in nature but another obvious choice is if you wanted that same sort of shaded blue quality in a darker form for an accent wall then outer space would be perfect against a Jubilee sort of backdrop happening. And then the third color pairing is, I guess the accent color, but only in its hue and not necessarily in how vibrant it is, because it is fairly neutral. It's the historic color called Classic Sand. And this one is the lightest color of these three sort of pairings. But what I like about it and why I chose it is it doesn't have any blue and very little gray to speak of. It is this mid-tone beigey color. It is technically part of the orange family because it feels a little bit 
peachy, perhaps a tiny bit rosy. And this is gonna be especially accentuated next to these other colors that are a little more cooler leaning, whether towards blue or the green side of things. So that's why this color will stand out the most. And even with that, this could be the main color of this palette. And then those blues and greens can be the secondary or tertiary colors to really pop off and give you an overall warm feel with those cool pops here and there throughout your home. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think of this one. And we have more right over here.